thank you ladies for um, joining us tonight. Um, we really appreciate it. Grant, or if you're watching the recording and investing time in your business. Um, so I wanted to start out with a couple of things. I wanted to recap last week and um, just ask a couple of you, um, maybe Darlene and Jennifer, um, what um, was your takeaway or what you learned um, from our talk last week? Um, Shelly spoke and then um, we talked a little bit on um, your mindset as also. Anyone? Ready to share something? Okay. I'm, trying to think which, I'm trying to think which one was Shelly. Um, I know you told me something on the phone. Yeah, I wrote it down. And do I have that paper in front of me? No. Um, I think you just, oh, to remove yourself when you're talking about the opportunity to remove yeah. yourself from it and just think about the person and what you can do for them. Right, and then what we have to offer is a gift. I really like, that was a good reminder how she worded it like that, um, mm -hmm. that it's a gift that we offer. Good. Um, and just a reminder to keep making your contacts daily. Um, you should be making 25 to 30 contacts a day, um, at least five days a week. Now, if you, I find if you schedule time in like 15 to 20 minutes, maybe it's in two blocks or like morning and evening, um, and sending the same message, not waiting for a reply, just like sending the message and following up later. Um, it's possible to do that. Like, and if you're um, diligent about it, you will see consistency. Um, and then, let's see. Um, oh, we wanted to talk about, um, let's see. Um, Darlene, you had some people interested um, in like the opportunity. So just talk a little bit about that and um, how you ask them or. Um. Um, I just tell them now there's so many people that are cooking more and in the mm -hmm. kitchen more or, um, you know, just at home and looking for something to do that this is a great opportunity for them to do something they love if they love to cook and just post pictures of what they make and just doing that and being on Facebook, you can make a living at it. Exactly. Um, and you were like, oh, sorry. go ahead. And I just always, to get people at my show that are actually interested in what I do, I tell my guests that are on my hostesses parties to invite people they know mm -hmm. too, so that they can ask their friends. Maybe they know someone who loves to cook or somebody who loves Pampered Chef or someone who just needs to connect with people, I tell them to try to think of three people to invite and then have them invite their friends too. So you get more people at your show too. You um, have an image posted or you post an image for that too, like, right? Like what you yeah. shared with me yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I put the picture of it's more fun to party with friends. Yeah. And that's what I use for my invite or, um, invite your friends to the party that I have one that says that. Awesome. And it's been popular. A lot of people have invited their friends and I don't think the hostess is buying. I mean, they're getting more people. Great. Um, so, so you put, do you post one time about like inviting friends during the party or more than once? I did it. I did it twice this time because I had a couple shows that only had 10 people or less mm -hmm. and now they're up to 20 some people. So that's good. That's awesome. It did help. It really uh, helped. Yeah. Um, I appreciate you sharing those tips. Um, and that, so the, tonight we're going to talk a little on um, bookings and then um, maybe a little bit on recruiting, but the focus is bookings because um, that's the lifeline of our business. Um, so that more than 80% of um, our um, parties are booked from parties. However, if you don't currently have any parties, then we'll talk about, um, I can share some scripts on like in the group afterwards um, on how to get bookings outside of parties. Um, parties are the most efficient place to book. Um, your goal is at least three bookings from every party. And I do a variety of things um, to get bookings from the party. I'll give the host a challenge. Um, Let's see. 
And then I also, um, like I'll, I've started being diligent about um, messaging each guest in the party, um, or at least try to, um, even if they don't order. And I have some wording for that. Let me see if I can pull it up. Here's um, an example. Um, oops, I forgot to share my screen. Hold on. <laughs> This was someone that booked today. Let me see if I can find it. Wow, four messages in like three minutes. Um, and I'll post this in the group tomorrow. Um, but what I send people at the end of the party um, to give them the opportunity to order is, um, or to order or to book is I'll say something like, um, introduce myself and hope you and your family are safe. Um, as it, we get ready to close out her party tonight, I just wanted to take a moment and say thank you so much for joining the party. And this lady was really active in the party and I knew that she loved Pampered Chef. Um, tonight is last day to order. Let me know if you need the link. And if you not sure if you saw anything on your wish list or not, but the hostess is looking for three bookings from her party to get a bonus gift um, from me and Pampered Chef and 40% off at each party. Um, would you be interested in helping her out? And then I give her my next available dates um, and talk about a little bit about the spring wine. And she said, yeah, I will try it. Can I do the week of the ninth though? And so then I always, and this, if you're not doing this, I highly encourage it. It's really working in my favor is um, we have three party types, which works best for you. A regular party with traditional host rewards. Um, and I'm calling it like a share the love party where everyone who shops gets a big discount instead of the host rewards you get 40% off. Um, and over the last few days, um, when I, I mean, I've gotten a couple of fundraisers booked in the last couple of days and it's by offering that as an opportunity when they say well, they want to book a party. Um, I had someone that wants to do one for like a Chicago relief homeless or something. And then somebody else wants to do one for St. Jude. Um, so I give them those three options and she's wants, she's gonna do a shared rewards party. So um, that's an example of what I send guests at the end of the party. Um, but host coaching is one of the most important elements of um, successfully securing bookings at parties. By creating a partnership with your host, you'll find success in sales, booking and recurring. Um, so other things you can do to get bookings at your parties, um, you want to encourage your host to be actively involved in the party, um, as Darlene was kind of mentioned. And then, um, I always tell them to like comment, especially on all the, um, uh, games and I just want to make sure I'm not missing anyway, um, all the games and, the recipe posts, those are the most important um, and check it at least once a day. Um, and it also helps to tell them, I think, that um, pretend that your friends are in your living room or your kitchen, um, you wouldn't leave them silent. Um, it's basically the same thing. Um, we don't wanna leave them silent um, because that's no fun. Um, and let's see, so, yeah, you encourage the host to be involved. You can feature a power tool. Um, one thing, I didn't share it in that party, but one thing I did yesterday was I shared the blender um, and then I shared the enrichables and how to get those um, at a discount right now. And then I did that on my business page and then I shared it to several parties. Um, so that's something that you can do. It also featured the blender. I was making, um, vegetable soup, kind of like a, whatever vegetables were left in the fridge. Um, uh, oh, share the benefits of hosting at every party, but I pulled up one of my parties just to show you. Um, and if anybody's interested, this party, one of the hosts had like, she has $850 in sales and the other one, not so great, but she didn't invite enough. Um, but this party also has like, 
I'd say between three and five leads um, for the opportunity. I myself, I wasn't, I was focusing more on my host than like the guests. And just over the past five days, I've started like reaching out to guests more too. And it's working. So, I mean, they're showing interest. So what did I want? I wanted to show you um, when I get a booking, this is what I post. Let me see if I can find it. Um, I think who booked. Hold on. I know she, she has like four bookings from her party. Um, oh, I know. Here it is. So I put something like this when they get a booking. Um, and I just mentioned that they're looking for three friends to continue the fund as they get 40% off any item or set. Who will be next? Um, and I mentioned, I offer them extra party points for, you don't have to do party points, but that's something my guests like um, for extra fun. Um, and then I'll take, are you all members of the virtual party group? Yes. I take um, images from there to um, like book, I mean, to, to show like when the host gets three bookings and the guests usually find this fun or the host will find it fun at least. Um, another thing that works is have the host, um, I encourage the host to tag three people in one of my posts about um, bookings like midway towards the week. Um, granted, not all of them do that. Oh, but this one did. Um, she, she was the one that didn't have a lot of orders, but she was really um, asked, did everything I asked, except not quite as many people um, as the other lady. Um, so, um, but this one had several um, leads. And then what else I wanna show you? Oh, another thing I'm doing to get bookings fun, for fundraisers. Well, sometimes this search bar doesn't work so well, I will tell you. <laughs> um, it's here somewhere. Whoops. There's a, po there's a post here that says, um, if you if I give you um, $500, what charity would you donate it to or what charity would you pick? Um, That's from the a tip, a big tip I got from the host experience webinar um, and it's um, been helping. Um, but I basically just type in the post and then I take, I use like um, one of the backgrounds like when you write a post like blue or pink or whatever like that and add some emojis. And then I'll reach out to the person individually and like, here's an example. This lady booked one for um, breast cancer. Um, and it's basically the same message every time. Um, let's see. Oh, she asked how, what, like, what would be involved. Um, not sure if you know that I do fundraisers um, with Pamper, Pamper Tough does fundraisers also. I'm looking to find two or three organizations to help with a fundraiser in March. Would you be interested in doing one for, um, she had commented Susan B. Coleman or Alzheimer's. Um, and I would be honored to help support a cause that's so important to you. Um, and I mentioned the hostess gets credit. So um, she asked a little bit more about it and she booked one. So that's what I send them when they um, schedule a fundraiser. Um, I mean, when they comment on the fundraiser posts and I'll um, share that in the group also. 
Um, it also helps to offer <coughs> party theme to um, spark interest. Um, and then anyone using a drawing slip yet? Okay, well, um, I, this sometimes helps, um, but I, you can either do this midway through the party or at the end of the party. Um, I like to do it at the end. You saw my post here. Um, it was the bonus post. Um, it helps if you have the host post. I haven't done, I've been posting myself and tagging guests, but usually it only gets a few. Usually it gets more when you have the host post. But I posted on the last day of the party or when you're getting wrap up orders um, complete, and before you do the party prize drawing, obviously. Um, please complete your party survey and like my Facebook business page. Um, here are the opportunities to earn more prize tickets. And then um, there's the party link, I mean the survey link, and then I'll tag the members of the group. And I think this party had like four people fill it out. Um, so not a lot, but it does give you ideas on, um, I will share my survey and then I'll show you how you can like or a video on how to make one. Um, your their first name, last name, email address, phone number, preferred method of communication, who is their host. Um, a lot of times this is really helpful um, because you can see like they'll sit sometimes comment, I'm not sure yet, please follow up before you close. Um, I didn't have that on there originally, but that was something that my friend had on hers and I liked it, so. Um, and then I give them the different options for the different parties that they could host. Um, and sometimes here is how you get a booking lead. Um, and then I need to add a little circle here, no thanks, or what month are you interested in? Um, and then sometimes I'll run like a special, like, I don't know, act, um, uh, shared rewards, or if I'm doing something special in my VIP group, you can do, you can um, give them choices there. But this is one thing that's really helpful. So you can see who might be a lead for um, the business to invite to an opportunity event. If they're like a four or five, or even a three, um, anything besides a one, that shows that they at least have an interest. Sometimes they might have more interest, but they're just embarrassed to say so. <laughs> um, and then it's funny, sometimes people will say everything or like, I don't know, several different items. And this is a good, this also helps like, for example, right now when our stoneware has come back to go back to those people and say, um, hey, um, right now we have a hostess special in February and March um where you can get that for $42 instead of $102 um and four of our stoneware pieces are back and you could get one of those at least 50% off or like for example the pizza stone instead of 45 it would be 22.50 and people like to hear the price difference versus 60% off um and then this really helps too to see if someone's interested, ask them though what kit they might be interested in. Sometimes people will say may I have more information. Um, and if the, their host would become a consultant, would you help out? Sometimes they will say yes. Um, and then it also show you like, um, some people will say it was a great party, so much fun, or the length was a little bit long, but it's um, good constructive feedback on the style of your party and how it goes. So yeah, I will be glad to share that um, in our group tomorrow, along with a video on how to make it. Any questions so far? Okay, let me think what else um, I wanna show you here. Oh, this is something I do for bookings too. Um, I was talk just talking with a new friend last night who we we're in the same like leader program together. Um, she was asking for booking ideas. Um, I always do this at the end of my party and it, it helps more often than not to get bookings so much so that I've continued it. 
and I'll change the image up for like whatever season I was doing snowman March will be leprechauns or shamrocks. You can find this on Pinterest um, or even just Google. Um, I actually found this one on Facebook somewhere, but um, comment be below with the number of your Valentine heart um, and I will message you with your deal. Um, let's see. I don't think in this party anyone booked from that, but I am going to, here's what I send them. Um, and again, something that I can share like in a guide in our group, but um, I'll say something like, thank you so much for joining the party. Um, and I know you love Pampered Chef or, um, and picking number four, you helped to make the party so much fun if they were really commenting a lot. Um, I have a sweet deal for you. Um, whatever number they pick. And then of course, because they're host rewards, they can get 50% um, off any item or set um, in the catalog. Um, then I offer that because it's just part of the hostess rewards. Um, and then I give them a um, couple options there. And I also mentioned that the hostess would get credit um, but a lot of times, at least, usually at least one person in each party will book from that. Um, and there's also the hostess challenge. Um, so yeah, if you're not doing that, that really helps. Um, let me pull up the hostess challenge. Something similar to this, but I do this on Wednesdays. Um, if you end your party like on Fridays, if Friday's the last day of your party. Um, well, it, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to my document because I don't like what's in that wording there. Um, there it is. Um, I have to click on one more link, sorry. It basically says, um, I, have a, I have a fun challenge for you today. You do this like with your best host, um, probably not with one that just has five or six people in her party, but um, I don't know why it's not clicking down. Yeah. Um, and with it, um, I, I'm trying to think what I say. Did I offer my most fun hosts? Um, would you like to give it a try? Something like that. And then they say, here it is. This guy click on this. And then go to the bottom. Oh. So I have a challenge for you today. Will you accept? I always challenge, oh shoot. <laughs> um, I always challenge my host to help get bookings from your party when you can get three. Um, PC will, Pamper Chef will give you another $50 in free products and you get a 50% off item at each of their parties when they qualify. I send you the words and your message people you think would do it. Uh, I say eight to nine people you think would do it and be great hosts like you and might want to earn free product. Um, actually, I use this message. I like this message better. I started using this one. Um, and then they have the message like eight to nine people um, because like usually one in 10 um, will say yes, but if they're their friends, then they, you can get like two to three bookings. Sometimes people will do this and you always want to say, um, let me know who you ask. So um, I, because I'm going to try to help you um, get bookings from your party as well and be reaching out. Um, and then let me know when you um, get someone interested. Um, Okay, no problem.
Thanks for being here. Um, and let's see. Um, so yeah, do you accept this challenge? And um, I'll send you the wording. So sometimes they'll do that. It doesn't always get bookings, but sometimes it does help um, get bookings. Um, what else? Um, oh, in your VIP, um, in your drawing slip, you want to offer them the opportunity to join your VIP group. I know I have that in there somewhere for extra party points. Um, oh, that's on my end of the party survey, yeah. Um, and then you can also um, create interest by using um, images like um, in marketing imagery um, in the opportunity. Oh, here's one that I like. I post this at the end of the party. As we come to a close tonight, I know I've shared quite a bit, but I promise there's a way to, um, too much more for me to share in just one party. Um, if you were having fun learning some new recipes and you want more, um, then consider hosting a party of your own. You can do one like this one where you can earn free and discounted products or you can share um, some savings. And actually in this one, um, this hostess had already told me she wants to do new, another party in jam. And then her friend who, it's funny, like um, she just had a party and at the time she didn't rebook. For, um, another tip ladies is um, when you have a party and you're closing the party out, always make sure you ask the host um, or tell, like offer the opportunity, um, say you have the opportunity to get 40% off any item of your choice through your own party when it's a brand new catalog. And I'll do like four to five months from now, right now I'm saying like June, um, would you like to continue the fun and get, um, see some of the new products and be able to um, get an item off your wish list? Plus, it counts towards their three-party booking bonus, um, which I've gotten that question from some team members a lot lately. Oh, we have about 10 minutes. Um, so that in 50% of the time, they will say, sure, or yeah, count me in, especially if they've had a fun time. Um, so if any of you'd like, I would be happy to add you to either this party or another one that went really well. Um, and they both had a lot of bookings. Um, questions yet, ladies? Okay, I'm just trying to see what else I wanted to show you on bookings. Um, I also sent a thank you message to, um, let me see. Oh, I don't know if I have it here. Hmm. No, I don't have it there. Um, these are some booking tips. I think I might have shared this, but I'll double check um, to, to see and I'll share that in the group tomorrow. Um, this is another, this is a way to get bookings out of the blue. But what I was saying is um, when you have someone place an order, you message them and thank them for their order, um, offer them any recipes if it's early on in the party um, or even at the end, if the party is about to come to an end, I'll say something like, would you like to surprise the host and um, help her And She's looking for three bookings from her party. Sorry, I'm trying to make this bigger. Um, and I'm not sure how to do that right now. Oh, there we go. Hi, Melanie. Um, Hi. So let's see. Um, yeah, so you would say something like that. And then you would say, um, oh, would you like to surprise the host by um, continuing the fun and being one of her bookings? I have the wording. That is something I'm happy to share in our group as well. Um, so that is pretty much why I wanted to mention um, bookings because I know um, we're all looking for more bookings. And those are some ideas that I use that have been helping. Um, if you have any questions on that, let me know. But I would say like with the return of our stoneware, um, oh, let me see if I can figure this out real quick. I might have to look tomorrow because um, I just learned how to do it the other day. There is a way now, Melanie, do you know um, when somebody makes a wish list, how to go in and look at the report? 
somewhere I saw a video and I can't remember where. Um, let's see, where's wish list? Oh, I have to go to my purple personal website first, I guess. I can't figure it out. Um, research it and look because I just learned the other day. Um, it might be under explore. It's not there. Um, I will look into it because it's a good um, for a while it wasn't available. And I think it's a new feature, the wish list. Um, you can look up reports of a certain product and see who's interested or who has purchased stoneware in the past. Um, or have it on their, I mean, have it on their wish list. Wrong wording there. <laughs> um, so um, if there's no questions, I'm just gonna like um, wrap up here and mention our call to action. If you haven't yet, be working on your vision boards and please be sure to post those. Um, you can also, oh, Melanie's gonna share real quick. Um, and then also, um, there's also still time to grab an accountability partner um, from our group to um, check in with each other, cheer each other on and help branch ideas off each other. And of course, Melanie and I are available to help too, but I wanted Melanie to share one of her ideas that she shared with me yesterday that's been working really well with her, uh, for her as far as um, the taste buds. Um, and it's helped like with bookings and sales, I believe. So take it away, Melanie. Yeah. Thank you. I want to start just by really fast saying I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm a little under the weather today, and that's why I didn't join earlier. Oh. Um, so I, but I didn't want to miss it, and I appreciate you all for being on. Um, I'm working on, right now, increasing my party sales and personal sales with subscriptions. And this is what I'm doing, and I've been following up with previous guests from past parties and current parties and past hosts. Um, and I thank them again for their order, or I follow up and ask if they've received it or if it's out of the box, depending on when they ordered it. Um, and then I ask them in, a, in just in a text, I just say if they saw the taste buds or enrichables. And when they, um, everyone that I've asked so far says no what is it so i send the video um, for the taste buds and i send the picture of the three enrichables and the video is just in marketing imagery and it's only 55 seconds so it fits in a text or in a message on messenger um, i i share a message about my experience with um, with enrichables and taste buds. And I tell them that, that enrichables is 20% off this month. Then they've all, all said, I'll check it out or I'll look at it. And then um, I follow up and ask what they thought. And so, um, so far I've gotten like four subscriptions That's and awesome. I haven't, I've only sent it out to like six people because I have been, like I said, I haven't been feeling very well. So this is what I say, like, do you know about taste buds and enrichables? Check this out. I'm loving both. And I send the picture and then I send the video too. And then I say enrichables are 20% off this month. And then I say, Honestly, for taste for me, taste buds is a life changer. Trying to come up with new food ideas is rough. I also appreciate the enrichables because I don't eat enough veggies. LOL. You said you send that to past guests, past hosts, or just like yeah, everybody. Okay. Like everyone who I've reached out to, I send that same thing. And I just mm -hmm. tell them honestly, the taste buds is a life changer trying to come up with food, new, new food ideas is rough. I also really appreciate the enrichables because I don't eat enough veggies. And then um, they say like, I'm gonna look and, and then when I follow up, 
I say, then I say, okay, look here. And I share my website. Hmm. Excellent. And then um, I say, thank you. You're going to love. And then I, whatever they ordered, because you know, you get a message when they order. So I got a message and I said, you're going to love the protein. I'm excited that you took advantage of the 20% off plus 10% from hosting a party. And she said, thank you. Thanks for sharing. Um, I asked her if she wanted to schedule a party in the future. And she said, not right now, but I'm partied out, but maybe closer to Christmas. So I booked her for the fall and I asked her what month and she said October. So I did it. Awesome. So I'm seeing Jennifer smile because she's looking probably right at my post. (laughs) Is that right, Jennifer? Why are you laughing? Oh, Oh, she's laughing at her nephew. (laughs) I thought she was laughing at me. (laughs) Um. Are there any questions? That was a great idea. Thank you for sharing that. You're welcome. I really have, um, oh, sorry, that was my video. That's so okay. um, I just want you to know that I really have found that it works. And I'm gonna, um, I, I've taken two naps today. And so I'm feeling a little bit better right now. I'm going to continue sending these messages because we just have until the end of the month to offer that 20% discount. But these can be shared even after the end of this month. You just, you just don't include that there's a 20% discount. Right. Awesome. Great idea. I will post a um, call to action tomorrow, but be working on your vision boards if you haven't yet. And then Think of like two um, ideas that you will try for booking parties um, over the course of this week. And um, I'll post like a short little um, booking training to check out 